Hey students, thank you for logging on tonight. So, what am I flipping out about tonight? I'm flipping out about mixed numbers and improper fractions. So we're building on all of the stuff we've been doing with fractions so far this week. And I'm going to talk about a little bit about what you do with a fraction that's more than a whole. So, we talked about how fractions represent parts of a whole. Well, fractions can actually represent more than a whole as well. So, first things first, let's go over our mission objective like we do every day. A fraction greater than one whole can be expressed as a mixed number or an improper fraction. Read it with me again. A fraction greater than one whole can be expressed as a mixed number or an improper fraction. All right, so if you don't know what those two things mean yet, it's okay, because I'm going to tell you exactly what they mean. So, first things first, get a pencil and a paper. So go do that now. If you need to put me on pause or whatever, you need to take a potty break, it's fine. So please do that now. All right, so as long as you have your pencil and your paper, go ahead and write this at some point on your paper so you know what to do and what you've done today. And I'm going to give you kind of an example. I'll start with a picture. So let's take something super simple, all right? Let's take halves, for example. Let's say you have one whole and one half, okay? One whole and one half. Now, in a mixed number, this would be represented as one and one half. Simple, right? We have one whole and one half. Now, in an improper fraction, the top number, the numerator, is going to be larger than the denominator. So I have one, two, three halves. Three halves. One and one half and three halves are equal. It's just two, way, two ways of expressing a fraction that's greater than one whole. So these are actually equal, but two different ways to say it. <clears throat> Let's take another graph. This one will be a little bit smaller. So let's say I have one whole and I've got all of these. I've got one whole and then I've got three-fourths over here. So this would be one and three fourths. But what if I wanted to make this an improper fraction? Well, I would count my fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six, and seven. So in an improper fraction, it would be seven fourths. One and three fourths equals seven fourths. It's just two ways of saying that a fraction can be greater than one whole. Now, it's very easy to make these, and to make an improper fraction into a mixed number, or to make a mixed number into an improper fraction, and I'll show you how. So, take a really easy one, two and one fifth, all right? Let's say I want to make this into uh, an improper fraction instead. So, all I have to do, watch carefully, is I take five times two, five times two, I'm kind of working backwards, I know, equals ten. 10 plus 11 equals 11. Your denominator stays the same. So I've just taken 2 and 1 fifth, and I've made it into an improper fraction, into 11 fifths. Okay? I can do it the opposite way. Let's say I start with an improper fraction. I'll start with 7 thirds. Okay? Well, how do I do that? I divide 3 into 7. 3 into 7 goes 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 take away 6 is 1. 2 and 1 third is my improper fraction, or no, is my mixed number from my improper fraction. So you can, you can change them. They're interchangeable depending on what you want. So anytime you want to do that, you can 
take an improper fraction, make it into a mixed number, or take a mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. So I'm going to draw another um, little graph for you, another uh, diagram, and I want you to make an improper fraction and a mixed number out of this picture. So I'll try to draw it as best I can. Okay, so we have thirds here. One hole, two hole, and two over here. Now first, a mixed number is going to look like what? Take a second, think about it, write it down. Alright, if you're having trouble, think about this. You've got two holes, so there's my hole number, and now I'm going to put my fraction is two thirds. So my, M, my mixed number is 2 and 2 thirds. And the improper fraction is easy. I just count my thirds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 thirds. So 2 and 2 thirds equals 8 thirds. 2 and 2 thirds is my mixed number. 8 thirds is my improper fraction. All right, so that is mixed numbers and improper fractions. I'm going to get set up for the second flipping out video that I have for you. So go ahead and take a break if you need that potty break or whatever, and watch the second video when we're done. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.